Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Wednesday to every single one of you gorgeous folk out there. And welcome to Let's Build. And welcome to part four of Chateau Baptiste. Today, we're going to crack on with some more kitchen work. I think we're going to do the kitchen today, the sunroom. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of a development in this storyline that we've got going for this family as well, which has kind of changed the house around a little bit. Um, I've decided on doing something and I'm going to do it. Yes, I am indeed. So that is going to be happening. But we'll talk a bit more about that when we get into game, darlings. Yes, we will. Um, that's it. That's all I've got to say. I've also got to say I'm live on Twitch tonight, 7 p.m. GMT. We're going to be doing some custom content shopping for some creator sim items which is a little out of my forte i don't usually do this so i'm quite excited at seeing what these creators have got to offer for some creator sim items especially as i'm creating last night on stream we created lily and james potter and also harry as well we haven't finished with them properly yet i want to get chuck in some custom content for them i do so if you want to join me, I'll be there. But if not, let's crack on with the video and get into game. Okay, my beautiful darlings. Here we are. We are back. We are back at Chateau Batiste. Um, we have, like yesterday, obviously, we did the living room and we did the dining room area. It was quite a short part yesterday. I didn't realise it was that short. I'm very sorry. 20 bloody minutes. I think that's the shortest part of any lit's, lit's build. Lit's build that I've ever done. Very, very rude of me. Um, so expect this part to go on a little bit longer today, today my dears. Um, what we're doing today, we're doing the kitchen and we are doing the sunroom. So, and I think what we're going to do as well is also the toilet and the main hall as well. So the main hall, maybe the landing if we get time to. Um, I'm still unsure on this light. Every time I use this light, it's taken me back to like early Sims 4 days when Spa Day came out. And that's all I used was that light in particular. Even though we couldn't use it anywhere because it was um, massive and we didn't have the size down option. I don't know. It's quite bougie. We'll stick with it. So... There's been a development in this storyline, my darling. So, this is what is going to be happening now. I'm going to be making a nanny. I'm going to be making an, an English nanny. Think Mary Poppins vibes. She is moving into this lot yet. I haven't made her, so I don't know her name just yet. Um, but I'm going to be moving her into this lot. And this is going to be her bedroom here. Now, this is going to be Augustus's bedroom. So, the top floor level, I'm actually going to do a master bedroom suite with a dressing room and bathroom on this side as well so it's like an open bathroom with dressing area that's what we're going to do um did just do a little burp then <laughs> slipped out like a cheeky fart what can i say so that is what we're going to be doing that is what we're going to be doing here and then i thought with betsy's um flagship store in willow creek i'm going to do her kind of uh photography studio where she like takes pictures of all of her new pieces, um, the area where she makes stuff. I'm going to be doing that all on that lot rather than having it on a home lot. So that is the vibe that we're going to go for, darlings. I've mixed it around a bit and I thought it would be cool to add in another character. Um, and it makes sense to have her room kind of right next to um, Augustus's room as well. So that is the storyline. And I'm going to introduce you to her tomorrow because I'm bringing Let's Build the Worlds back tomorrow as well. So there will be no Potter project this week. The, we'll make next week a bit more of a Potter project week next week because I just want to get this build done. I really, really do. So what I'm going to do is today, obviously do what I said, do the rest of the downstairs. Then tomorrow I may um, start furnishing up here. I may start furnishing up here so we can get all of the rooms done in one kind of part. So I may do the uh, nanny's room. I've probably furnished her bedroom and parts of Augustus's off of camera, and then I'll show you guys tomorrow. It's just got to be that way, darling. So that is what we're going to do. But without further ado, let's crack on with the kitchen. So the kitchen's huge. It is a very big kitchen. I was thinking, like, having a lovely island here, and then having this is the kitchen area over here, and this is going to be a sunroom. Now, I wanted to do something with this sunroom, so this is what I'm thinking about doing. Hold on. To oh, no. Is all that going to change all of the... Don't you dare. I don't want any of this trims on the inside, please, Sims 4. Thank you very fucking much. Have you disappeared anywhere? You always have to do that, don't you? You shit yourself because you think it's going. Now, 
this is what we're going to do. I want to get in some bougie pillars here, actually. So let me pull out a couple of bougie pillars. Pillars? Pillars. What I wanted to do, it's not working. The trims just disappear. They go to hell. It doesn't recognize this as a room um, once I take down a wall. So I wanted this a bit more open concept, but we can't go for that. So I've just used the widest arch, which I'm not too bothered about. It still gives me that vibe where you can just walk straight in to the sunroom and I'm for it. So we're going to crack on. This place still needs to be lit up properly. Uh, I'm thinking about adding a few more sconces over this other side as well, actually, by the doors. Absolutely stunning. And maybe that will brighten up this place considerably. Now, the only problem, I love these lights, but they just don't light up enough, I don't think. They just give this weird glow. I don't like the lighting from them. I could put some of those saucers and stuff in there, but then I think that would be too bright. So this is where we're going and this is where we are. Now, I was thinking the kitchen that we could use is maybe the shaker kitchen but in that blue tone. So we're still adding in a pop of color in here. I think I'll go for like a bluish vibe around this sort of place. So that's what we're doing, darlings. Yes, we are. So let me get this grid on so I know where I'm placing all this kitchen properly. Oh, that makes perfect sense to have a lovely oven in this place here as well. So I think I'm going to add in. I don't think I'm going to go like blue with the stuff. I think I'm going to go white with the bits and bobs in here or even silver. Probably silver, actually. That's a lot more of a relaxing tone against the other white that we got going. Yeah, we'll go for grey. We'll go for grey slash silver. Flop you to that point there. Um, I love, I do really like this parenthood kitchen. Um, it's, it's really nice. I just wish the swatches were better. Some of the swatches are nice. Some of them are absolutely ghastly. And I can't be dealing with them. I really can't. Okay, I'm going to put you to there. Oh, it does come with a sink, doesn't it? I always forget about the parenthood kitchen coming with a separate sink. Um, where are you, darling? There you are. Now, there's the blue shaker style. Shaker, shaker style. Um, yeah, the only thing that's throwing me off is the colour of this compared to the white. I'm not really a vibing. I'm not really vibing with that, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do to counteract that, I'm going to use this panelling in here. This panelling is from Cats and Dogs. I just think that softens the whiteness against this here and it allows that to sit in a little bit better. And I quite like it with the room as well. I think it looks really nice with the room. So we're going to do that, babes. Yes, we are. We're going to do it. Now I'm going to do an end piece over here. Flop you to there, darling. Yes, I am indeed. And then I'm going to put a fridge on the other side. So it's quite a nice little layout we've got going on in here. Especially we've got all this room now to put a nice big island. And I'm for it. I really am. How are you lot doing? I hope you're all okay out there. Um, I really, really do. Uh, I'm sending you all the love. I know the world's pretty fucked up at the minute. But we did have an amazing update yesterday from America. Um, it was nice to see a murderer go down for something that they committed and was watched by millions of people the world over. So maybe not so much justice. Um, I would say it was more accountability. I think that's the best way to sort of put it. But um, my God, it was so satisfying seeing somebody. Ah, I, I don't want to go too much into it, but you guys just know I stand with you and I cannot wait to see more developments uh, in the future. That's going to happen. Hopefully that will happen because these people need to be held accountable. And that is where I'm going to leave that. So... Let's get on to the counter and the, the cabinetry on the top. I don't usually like these because of the blue glass on top of them, but I think I'm going to use them anyway. I'm going to use them anyway. Can I do a little two more corner pieces? I don't actually mind that at all. Oh, oh, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that that has worked. I haven't used um, cabinets in a hot titty minute, I tell you. Um, can I like have a smaller piece on the end here? I know we can't use them, but they're too large and it's biting into my sconce and I can't be dealing with that. So I might have to use, move those sconces in slightly so it will fit in. Let me see. Yes. Yeah, I do like, I do actually like that. That's really, really nice. There needs to be more lighting over here now. I'll probably do some under the cabinet lighting. I think that would be a nice vibe to come in. I could push this a little bit further in as well to bring a bit more lighting into there. Oh, I'm kind of full that. Kind of for that. I'll leave that where it is because I don't know where I'm going to put the island. But I've got a basic layout there. So I think we will start on the island and see where we can place that, my sweets. Yes, we bloody will. 
Okay, so let's get confused over island placement. <laughs> which is usually what happens for me every time I build an island. But we're going to go for it anyway. <laughs> we're going to do it. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fabulous. We're all going to be here for it and we're all going to love it. So I think that one will go there. And then this one will come around to this corner. Am I going to do this first go? What's the bettings? What's the bettings, my loves? Oh my god, I think I might do. Oh, I did it. <laughs> I did it. Now, is that the right placement? Or do I want to put it around that way? Because the seating's all going to be like there. I'd probably do full seats all the way around, actually, to be honest. Oh, so maybe I should put it this way. But is that going to give me enough room? Now I'm going to get confused <laughs> over the placement. Now I'm go Now it's going to happen. Right. You and then you. <laughs> You're the same as there. So you come onto this corner. Um, what am I trying to do here? <laughs> what am I trying to do? Like, right. Like that. And then you there. Yes. I got it right. I'm so proud of me. I really am. Why is that different? Oh, you've got to come around to that point. And then you go there. Is this going to work? Oh, no, that's not right. You go there. It's like a fucking jigsaw. Honestly, I feel like an eight-year-old doing a jigsaw when I'm... When I'm uh, doing a count. When I'm doing an island placement. Yeah, I like that. But I think I need to pull it back a bit further now. Just to keep this doorway clear of this, like, bit here. Let me see that. There's a nice big gap there now, which I don't mind. I do not mind that this kitchen is quite like laid out quite stretchily. <laughs> that is the, um, that's the word, the mantra for today, stretchily. Okay. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I do. And now I need to find a decent bar stool. So, <sighs> let me have a look. There we go. So, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, I just had a really cute message off my dad. My dad just, I don't know if I, I'm, because of my focus, my dad is an amazing, he makes furniture, you can't see that, can you? No, and I can't hold it up to the camera because it would just be blurry. Oh, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see a little table my dad's just made. It is gorgeous. Really, really nice. And he put, what do you reckon? And I put, I reckon you should give that to me. <laughs> so hopefully you follow suit with that because that'd be very, that would be very nice. Anyway, off subject. I used these little powder blue ones. Um, these are from Harry. Um, thank God for Harry. Because the swatches on this are just an absolute dream. As expected. And I like them. And I was thinking, should we maybe try and get a bit of pink in here? Like with some powder. Because I love blue. With powder. Like blue and powder pink together. I mean... I think we'll stick with the blue. But that was a good vibe. I do. I did like... My thought process then i'm gonna bring these curtains in and i'm gonna try and sit them into the floor like i did over there as well yes we can do that stunning and i'm gonna bring a pair there as well oh i'm for it absolutely for that so i like the way that this is looking i do like the layout of it uh we obviously still need to get a bin in here as well so i'm gonna get a little trinkety bin in why is it trinkety no idea but i'm gonna get it in anyway um, I don't want to go for a white bin, really. I'll either go for like a grey... Oh, that's green. That's green. There's no blue, which is annoying. And the wood tones are just a little bit too rich for in here. So maybe white it is. <laughs> white it is. I'm going to put the bin there. Just there, darlings. Oh, we're going to do it. Um, We need to get a little extractor fan on the go as well. Now, mm, we're probably going to struggle with this because a lot of the extractor fans are disgusting in The Sims 4, but we're going to need one. So maybe this one in the white. That could be a vibe. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm going to put it... Have I not got a quarter tail placement on? Who am I? Who am I sometimes? Right, I don't... I want that flush, flush with the cupboard at there. Like that. Oh, that sings to me, that does. And now we need some under... The counter uh, under the cabinetry lighting. So uh, I don't really want them to be on show per se. So maybe I could like just size them down and just put them directly underneath. Like so. One there. One there. And then we'll do one there. 
and then one on the other bit as well like around what's the how big's that gap it's, it doesn't need to be perfect it's fine we're not going to see them anyway and then the cabin, cabinets on top are now too dark love the lighting on them you did a great great job with that <laughs> great job and then that is just going to bleach out this hole and then the fucking hell it's just gonna have to stay like it is the lighting on them is fucked so <laughs> i'm just gonna have to deal with it we're gonna have to deal with it and it will be fine okay so we need more pieces and stuff and things in here so i'm gonna whip out a few little things and we'll place them around together okay i've grabbed a few things out we're gonna flop this one here this one here came with the it, no what did you come with the bowling pack was this one from the bowling pack no it was from get famous okay well we're gonna put that one there i think we do need a couple more sconces over here as well and i've actually moved the sconces down um is that at the same height i think it is it's just my angle it was we're gonna put a few with a couple of these on this side as well just to bring extra brightness over to this area oh i'm for it absolutely for that i've also used this one here um which came with oh god spa day i think spa day no, dine out. <laughs> so I'm getting it all wrong today then. We use that one there. I think the nanny um, is a very keen baker. So we'll have to put some treats up there for the lovely um, Augustus. Augustus. It always reminds me of the character from um, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Whatever I say that name. So August Augustus Gloop is going there and then what i'm going to do is pop up a couple of these little bo bad boys onto that side there as well just for some extra detail now i do want to leave enough space for cooking but i would also like to get out like a good coffee machine i would reckon i reckon these guys would be heavily on the coffee sub substances to keep them going through their day-to-day -day daily lives so i think i'll leave that side free and i'll do the coffee machine over this area here I would have also loved a dishwasher. I mean, I could pop one there. We'll try it. Um, but yes, we'll see. Uh, so coffee machine, appliances. I'm going to go for obviously this big bad boy. And then put this one here on that side there. Now, that is supposed to be white, but it kind of marries in well with that. So I'm going to keep it as it is. Oh, that's better. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 indeed. And then I wanted to try a dishwasher let me see if i can pop one right next to there so it's near the sink yes i would imagine they would have a dishwasher as well it would probably suit them you you really suit a dishwasher <laughs> you really do i uh, i don't know how i could not live without i know people haven't got dishwashers and stuff but i don't know how i could live without mine i don't know how i could live without mine my friend is so bad with her dishwasher. She's like, it's just an extra cupboard for me, really. <laughs> she just uses it in, as an extra cupboard. Washes her dishes and then just leaves them in there and uses them for her dishwasher. Personally, I couldn't do that because I'm a Virgo. Um, and it would infuriate me. It really would. And then I thought a little... Uh, I really want this to sit centrally, so I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it into the center. There we go. Stunning and stunning. Oh, I'm for it. Let me see this. Yes, this is cute. I do like this kitchen. I think it's going to suit this family. Again, still keeping it minimal. The lighting on the top here is infuriating me. I know I could put lights on the indoors of the cupboards to try and help that, but will it help it? Will it fuck is the answer to that. Will it absolutely buggery fuck? What about you? No, they don't work. No, it's just the Sims 4. Again, Sims, you know? So, sunroom. I want this. To, I don't know why I got these out. I was going to use these and I don't think it's going to suit the vibe of what I want to do in here. I want to make this room look a little bit glamorous. Just think of Fergie, you know? G L A M O U. What? Uh, two. I don't know the worst. I think it's just spelling out glamorous, but. <laughs> yeah, that vibe. Right, we're going to carry on. Um, I would have loved to get a bit of blue in here, but the blue on this isn't the vibe that we're going for. It's more of that like periwinkly color. Um, so I do want to go a little bit extra glam in here. So I might just get in these seats here. Yeah, I think we're going to do it. And then I'm going to make this room just all about plants. Some of where they can come and sit in the sunshine. 
and just be all about the plants. Oh yes, I'm feeling it. Now the weird thing is I really want some lighting in here, but there's not many places we can put them apart from maybe putting a few sconces on the side here. Using these sconces to death throughout this house as well. Their interior designer um, was like, you know, just stick with the same sconce, darling. Stick with the same sconce and your life will be so much easier. <laughs> that is a mantra if I've ever seen one. Do I want to use curtains in here? Let me test it, these out. Let me test it. <laughs> test it oh, that was a bit more of a sexual way to say, to say in testicles. I'm for it. And testicles. Oh, I do not do shut up sometimes. Seriously. Seriously, just shut up sometimes. These are not fitting on the windows. And when I put them up higher, I think that might... Oh, no, they're not too bad up a bit higher, actually. So maybe I will be able to use these in here. Let me see. Oh, that does look kind of cute. I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to pop these into here as well. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. Oh, that door fits a bit weird with those. Oh, I did, I did say that was going to happen, actually, when I was building this. The door's going to be a bit weird on the interior. But, you know, what, what can you do? What can you absolutely do sometimes? Right, and then you are going to weirdly go there. Okay. And then we're going to face these around this side. Lovely, lovely. Lovely jubbly. Um... I had one of my friends ask me a question yesterday. It was quite interesting. She was like, do you watch other Sims creators? Like, this is my friend in real life. And I was like, mm, I don't really. I don't tend to watch other Sims. Main reasons being I don't have the time. I try to support my friends as much as possible. Most of my friends always stream at the same time as, times as me on Twitch. So it's quite hard to go and watch them stream. Um, and... Creator-wise on YouTube and stuff, I just don't get the time to watch anybody anymore. And it's a sad thing because I know that they would don't have time to watch me either. Um, the creators that I do know. And I would love to get out there and be able to watch like all of my friends' videos and stuff. I don't know why I randomly just thought of that. It's because she's just texted me and I saw it in the corner of my eye. Um, and I just thought that was quite interesting. Uh, uh, what if that happens with a lot of people with like mediums and stuff whatever that whatever they do do you also watch other people in that same medium do you get time to sometimes i do sometimes i get um enough time to watch my friends videos and stuff um i mainly stick with like people that i've watched for years um delhi being one of them like degrassi i watch a lot of her videos harry when harry puts out videos when she's got time to because i know she's so busy um but other than that, I don't. I don't watch anybody else, really. Um, and I used to watch tons of people. I used to watch absolutely tons of Sims creators. But again, that was when I was not full-time creating myself. Like, I just don't get the bloody time anymore, loves. I really don't. And there you go. There's a story for you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. The more you know, you know. It's got to be done. It really does. Okay, and I'm thinking Fluffy Rug in here, but maybe sizing up the sheepskin not in that tone though i want you to go a bit more brighter darling if you would or i could go gray uh oh they've got that powder pink <gasps> maybe we could bring a bit of powder no i don't want to bring any color in here apart from greens and maybe i'll do the green one love this color green as well because i'm going to be doing lots of plants in here <gasps> oh that might like nice yes oh how dare you? Did I bet someone noticed that. I bet you noticed I did that. Now I need a big bunch of flowers in here. So maybe I'll pop in the flowers of dreams. Uh, and maybe I could bring a bit of pink over this side. No, I'm, I'm adamant on doing a pink. So we need to do a pink room. Maybe I could do um Betsy's room pink. That could be nice. That does look nice in there with that pop of pink. Oh, I'm for it, I tell you. Yes, let's do it. Okay, so plants. Now, obviously, I'm going to be pulling in um, that plant of dreams. Oh, I didn't use it. I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to be using it in here. Plant of dreams being this one, even though the lighting on it is that, and I fucking hate it, but we're not going to let that come between us. I'm going to pop you down there. The lighting goes worse when you pop it, pop it over there, which is good to know. Um, 
Yes. And then obviously Leafy Boy needs to come. But the only problem with Leafy Boy is um, the, uh, the, 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 the color of the vase that it's in or the plant pot even. I'm worried about me sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Let me see if I can disguise this. Now, the answer to that question, if you were wondering, was no. There was nothing in that I could disguise it with without it looking awful. So I've just chosen new plants um, and I've popped them there instead. And I'm for it. I'm absolutely here for that. So I really want to use this in here as well. But obviously, I know it does come in a white swatch too, which will fit in with a vibe. So I'm going to flop that just above here and hang the ivy. Oh, no, I can't. It's glass. Oh, you idiot, Aiden. You're very silly, bum. That's what you are. Um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I have no idea what that was. Oh, I really want to fucking use it. <gasps> do you know what I could probably do in here? I'm going to add in some... Um, oh, no, this is going to fuck up the, uh, the trims, isn't it? We're going to try anyway. I'm going to add in some of these, I think. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Let's get the grid on there, darling. Oh, it didn't. It's not done. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, we can put a light in here now, guys. Oh, we can do a light. We can do a big chandelier moment. And I'm for it. How very dare you? How very dare you? Thank you very much. Um, Let me see what that looks like. Let me see what that looks like with the roof up for a start. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. And then I can put some chandeliers in here now. Um, so which I'm going to do. I really am. I'm going to do two as well. I'm going to do two because I'm not going to be able to put something right in the middle. So if I did one there. Sized you down. And then did one there. And sized you down. But then what I have to do. Sorry, I'm so bloody windy today. How very dare me. Um, if I can flop you up to there. Yes. Oh, why are you off? How very dare you as well. There you go. And then one, two. One and two and three and four. Five and six and seven, eight. And one and two and three and four. And five and six and seven, eight. <laughs> All right, Aiden. Um, yes. Yes, I enjoy it. But what I do need to do to those little girder things now um, is um, go to there. And I need to put some inlaid trims on it. So this is probably where everything's going to fuck up. But hopefully it doesn't. Uh, I'll hold shift down so it stays in one place. One and two. And three and four and five. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm for it. Yes, that's a vibe. And then this one here obviously needs to come up now as well. One and two. Oh, just one. Oh, it was just a one, that one. Just an absolute one. Okay. Oh, God. my Sorry, my microphone lead was getting in the way then. Um, what am I doing? Right, back down to there. Let me just see this. Put you up. Flop you in. Oh, I'm for it. Yes, that's the vibe I wanted. Oh, I really did. Really, really bloody did. Very much did indeed. Now I want to add in... I would have loved a bar in here somewhere. Um, I could maybe add one of the globes in, but I just know that the bloody globes... The globe just doesn't have a decent swatch on it. Not for this room anyway. Oh! Oh, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. I can kind of see past that, I think. Unless that one. Oh, that one's quite nice as well. Let me just see them two a sec. I'm thinking more along to that one. Yeah, I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to flop you into there. Little bar moment. And then on this side, I'm going to add in something that looks like a drinks cart. I really wish this was usable as a drinks car. It would have just made much more sense. Oh, Sims team, there's a missed opportunity with this pack. Even though I'm a big fan of the um, Vintage Glamour stuff pack, I really am. So I'm going to add you into that side there, love. And then what I'm probably going to do on that, I'm going to add in this, which is another little drinks moment so they could have iced tea in the sunroom. Oh, I'm for it. Yes, I'm for that. That's cute. I like the green rug as well. That sits in. Yeah, cool. I'm happy. I'm happy with how that looks. I think we'll move on to 
the main entrance hall and we'll finish off with the bathroom today. Okay, so into the main entrance hall. Again, I don't want too much in here, to be honest with you. I will, however, one of you lovely people did remind me there are some really good surfaces from Get to Work. And I always forget about this. They did come in some really lovely and some of the swatches are great on them as well. Minus that blue. Um, so I'm thinking about trying to use some one of these out here. Oh, I love that. I do really like that. Let me just see if it's going to sit in here. Okay. Oh, that's a bit thick. That's a bit thick for in here, but I definitely I love this. I forget about these all the time. I'll probably use a lot of these in um, Betsy's actual shop. I think that they would really suit the vibe. We're going for very exclusive vibes in there only. Um, but I love this really simple table that I'm absolutely for. So I'm going to use that there. I'm going to use you there, darling. Um, I'm going to put a little seat just underneath of you as well. So maybe I could use one of the um, Ottomans around this area. Um, it would probably have to be semi-bougie, really. Semi-bougie, but maybe I could pop a bit of colour out here as well. Uh, maybe not with you. <laughs> maybe not with you. Let me see if I can find the best one. Ooh, maybe there's like cornflowery colour or periwinkle. Maybe I could use you like to like there. They could easily sit down and take their shoes off or take put their shoes on, you know? So I think I'm going to do that. We do need a rug out the front here, but it needs to be kind of semi bougie. Maybe like with a print on it or something like this kind of vibe. But that's very classic, isn't it? OK, I've just used the Starburst one out here, but I've also put the white one underneath the seating area. I just thought that looked very nice indeed. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, loves. I am. Now here, I want a bit of contemporary art out here. Now I know there's those base game art pieces that I do need to go and find now. I should have got them out already, to be honest with you. And these were the ones I was on about. And I think that color just puts in a bit more contemporary out here, which I'm absolutely for. And that's what this house is all about. So I like that. I kind of like how those colors sit together. So I'm not too, um, yes, I'm all right with that. I am. I'm all right with it. And I think up here, a nice mirror, maybe. Now we'll probably like struggle for a mirror here. Oh, I've only got base game on here. I think we'll struggle for a mirror up on this part here. Main reasons being, we know what the mirrors are like. And I have hair on me once again. <laughs> I have hair on me. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's not the vibe in here. That's just too kitschy for me. We'll go with this one. And I think I'm going to pull a bit of black in here as well, just because we've got black accents on the stair railings and on this like frame and stuff here. Um, I think that would be a quite a vibe. Could I bring black here as well? No, I don't really like that. No, I like it in white there. That's fine. Absolutely fine. And I think some kind of like art piece on here. So we're going to find this together, loves. We're going to find this together so I don't skip off and do everything off of camera. But um, I think this might be a bit of a struggle, to be honest with you. Uh, I would... Oh, do you know what would look great? Oh, where are you? Oh, where are you? Let me stretch this out. <laughs> um, There is a piece that has got... Uh, it's like this here, but it's got the black and white version of it. This one, I did have to skip off because it took me 25 years to find it. And I think putting that up there might look nice. I might have to size it down one. Just one though. Let me see. Let me see you. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's a good vibe there. Yes. I'm happy with how this entrance hall looks. Oh, I'm for it. Okay, we're moving on to the bathroom and I'm just going to go straight in. We obviously need to get the lighting a bit better in here because this is the light that that gives off. Do you see what I mean? It just dims it below. I'm not about that. I'm not about that. I might even, without having to use sconces, I might actually just put in a small saucer light in here and size it right down so we can't really see it. And blue's farted. Oh, blue. Oh! That's disgusting. Why do I have to smell it as well? <laughs> I'm like, uh. <laughs> oh, just breathed it in. Oh, blue darling. We need to take you out in a minute. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay, so bathroom. Very, very clean looking bathroom, I would like. So do I want to go more glamorous with the bathroom or do I want to go more contemporary? Probably going more contemporary would probably be the way. That's quite a nice bathroom here. 
Maybe we could hit it with a bit of gold in here. Mm. No, no, I'm going to use the spa day bath, I think, in the pure white. Yeah, we're going to go this vibe. We're going to go this vibe in here. I would love a mirror behind here, actually. It's a Oh, maybe I could... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I think, I think I'm going to do this. I've done this quite often in a few of my builds. But what about if I do like a really like old frame by the bath there? And have Vlad like watching you in the bath? I'm joking, by the way. Putting some mirrors in here. They do creep over the top slightly, but we're going to let that go. And just hit it a bit more glamorous in the bathroom area. Oh, do you know what? I'm for that. Yes, we're doing it. We're doing it, but then going contemporary with the actual pieces themselves in here. Oh, I tell you what, we're, we're, we're there. That's happening. Yes, it is. Now, I think with the toilet itself, I think we use the spa day. I think we use the spa day one. And I'm going to pop you to like there, I think. Because I want to do a full moment up here with some counters. So, trying to fit in with the vibes. We'll probably have to go for this kind of vibe in here. So, I think what I'm going to do is do oh, the only problem is i'm gonna have to do it like that i think just because i want to do two, oh do i want to do two sinks in here no no i don't i'm gonna do one in the middle i'm gonna do one in the middle and then we're gonna do corner pieces um one that i thought they had like angled oh they do look these ones here one like that one like that there we go oh stunning yes i'm for it and I'm going to hit this with a contemporary mirror right in the middle. Is this too big for in here? Oh, you bet your titties is not. Still got that lovely glitch in the game. Really, really good. Love to see those bugs being fixed. Um, <laughs> and I want to get a sink in here as well. Now, these sinks always look a little bit too um, kitchen-y for me. For the uh, bathrooms themselves. But I'm going to add them in anyway. And I'll probably go a little bit more industrial with it. Oh, there we go beautiful it's very spaced out bathroom but we've got enough stuff in here to like put some like of these kind of business which i never get to because they just don't ever fit in the bathrooms that i do because i just hate doing bathrooms what can what more can be said you all know my thoughts on it i'm just not a bathroom fan when it comes to it without custom content obviously I do love to use a little bit of custom content in the bathrooms could have fit a shower in here as well, to be honest with you. In fact, do you know what? I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do a shower. Um, And I don't think I'm going to do a cubicle because I hate them all. So I think I'm going to use you. And then I'm going to do that. Oh, it's not even in here. That annoys me. That shower divider. You know, the like wall thingy, my bob. <laughs> From Snowy Escape. Why is that not in the decorations? To the bathroom i've probably just gone past it multiple times and there she blows so it is a bit of a semi wet room really to be honest with you but i think that's a better use of space to be honest so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do that yes yeah that's a vibe that is a vibe that i'm here for does do does that need to be up higher i think it does just a little bit higher and maybe a little bit closer to the actual shower itself can i move you in one i can so that shower, that curtain's going to get drenched. <laughs> so maybe I should move it around that way instead. Oh, I don't want to. Okay, I've moved the shower here, but I've also done another one. Maybe a big bougie double shower would look quite cute in here. Um, I'm doing it. It's done. It's here. It's here to stay. And we're all going to be here for it. And that is all that I need to say on the matter. Now, I was thinking about using these in here as well. Um, I might size them down though. Do one there. Just to add a little bit of greenery in here. And then one there. Um, oh, that one there's quite low. So maybe I should put them up a bit higher. One there, one there. Oh, stunning. Stunning, I'm here for it. Now, I do want to get a bit more bougie across. So hopefully... I mean, that's blue. I didn't really want blue towels in here. But um, I think I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it. It's happening. A little bit more bougie behind the bath there. Stunning. Stunning. And then some products up here. So I'm going to use these again. Those nice blue ones. Oh, I might put them in the shower, actually. Put them in between in the shower there. Lovely. 
and then get some products up here. First off, I think we need some candles in here. Wish these candles worked as a candle. Like, I wish they weren't just a decorative piece. I wish they were actually could light them as well. Just a small thing. Um, and then some spa day products in here. I think that would absolutely just finish it off, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's not the best, best bathroom I've ever done. I will say that, but I'm working with what we've got. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's cool. That's fine. That is fine. So the downstairs is complete, loves. The downstairs is complete of the Chateau Baptiste. So tomorrow, as I said, I will furnish up the nanny's bedroom, make the nanny as well and introduce you to her. And then we're going to do Augustus's room and also the master suite dressing room and everything as well. So that'll be the final part tomorrow, my loves. So we're nearly going on to another build um, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, but yes, that is it for today. We are done with part three of the Chateau Baptiste. We'll be back tomorrow with the final part, my loves. As always, get some comments down below in the comment box. I love, love, love interacting with you guys. One of my favorite things about being a content creator. It really, really is. Um, and yeah, as I said, I'll be back tomorrow with the new nanny. Um, and I'm going to make her related to somebody who you may or may not know. So that's a little hint for you there darling and but yeah that's it that is it i will see you all tomorrow goodbye